Welcome into another edition of Football Frenzy. I'm AJ Feldman. This guy right here, he's Thad Brown. As the summer turns to fall, the air gets crisp, the leaves start to change, and high school football season really heats up. Tonight we had some great matchups, rivalry games, close finishes, and a really good battle of undefeated teams. We will start right there. 3-0 Wayne hosting 3-0 HFL in a Class B powerhouse clash, and this one lived up to the hype. We, HFL had a 14-7 lead at the half. Wayne's second snap of the second half, Dylan Bantz, G-A-N, GAN. 70 yards and a touchdown, tied the game at 14. We sat right there until late in the fourth quarter. Fourth and six for Wayne, Mason Blankenberg to Devin Forrest. Forrest was a terror defensively, 18 yards and a first down. Wayne converted another fourth down and then Blankenberg to Michael Prentice for the touchdown. PAT no good, but Wayne up 20 to 14, a buck 42 to go. Turned out to be way too much time. Two plays later, Brody Young to James Killenbeck. 35 yards, he's gonna maneuver this one down inside the 30. The next snap, Young, a gorgeous ball to Nolan Smith. How about a layout touchdown for the lead? 28 yarder, Cougars make their point after, up by one. Now Wayne still had a minute 20 left, but HFL forces a fumble. Ryan Garay jumps on it. Cougars win a fun one tonight. 21-20, they are still undefeated. Arcadia hosting Athena in a battle for Greece. Packed crowd for homecoming, and they got treated to a good one. Scoreless in the second quarter, Andrew Hill takes it up the gut. Athena 6-0 lead after the missed PAT, but Arcadia marches down the field. 20 seconds left, ball at the 29. Brian Chanitsky unloads to Latrell Rowe, goes up and gets it. Arcadia up 7-6 at the half. Early in the third quarter, Athena trying to get back on top. Jaden Rapp fires it to Matthew Ranaletta, taps the toes for six. Two-pointer no good, it's 12-7. But back comes Janitsky to row once again. They take the lead on a PAT, 14-12 into the fourth quarter. In the fourth frame, four minutes left, Trojans driving. It's Hill busting it outside, breaking tackles. Trojans eventually get it to goal to go. Stopped on third down, they try for the field goal. 22 yards out, wide left. Arcadia holds on for the big homecoming win, 14-12, you're fine. Also homecoming for Schrader tonight. The kids' theme was a frat party. All the parents very proud, I'm assuming. Third quarter, Brighton up 13-7. Taj Jackson, 28 yards for a touchdown. Two-pointer was good, made it 21-7. Now, uh, Brighton's QB, Brennan Klasgan, got hurt playing defense in the next possession. So Brighton goes wildcat. Jackson for another 30-plus. Then it's Elijah Lamonaco, 19 yards for another TD. That actually closed out the scoring in this one. Brighton is 4-0. They win 28-7 over Schrader. The 3-0 ER Gananda Bomber is taking on Attica late in the second quarter. Bomber's up 8-0. Chauncey Gilbert weaving his way through tackles. Big gain. He finished with 141 yards and a touchdown on the day. Later on the drive, fourth down for the Bombers, and it's Carter Lathrop going up top to Miles Cavanis. Comes down for six, his second score of the day. Bombers stay unbeaten, 22-6, your final. Avon and Calmum Byron Virgin. It was a one-point game at the half, but the Braves dominated the second half. Andrew Rowland, a 14-yard TD to close it out. Avon remains perfect. They get the win 26-6. Rowland scored twice in the second half. And the mighty Canandaigua Braves looking to move to 4-0 with a win over Olympia Odyssey. Scoreless in the first, Ryan Gavette takes it on the outside from 13 yards out. Little muscle at the end there. They go up 7-zip. On the next drive, Brady Camella doing Brady Camella type things. He is a fun player to watch. Fun player to watch break tackles here. Takes nearly the entire Griffin D to take him down. However, the Braves would not be stopped very often in this one. Later in the drive, it's Brian Boldrin swinging it out to Eric Platten. This one, all Canadegua as it often is. They win big, 54 to 14. The Braves are just unbelievably good this year. They're very, very good. Big slate of games today. There is more where that came from tomorrow. Well, we got more coming up after the break tonight. Red Sox and Yanks squaring off at Fenway. A whole lot more on the line than just bragging rights. And Syracuse looks to avoid dropping two in a row at the Dome to Liberty. But first, here's some more Section 5 scores.
the time we have for you tonight, but the party just keeps on going tomorrow. Yeah, our biggest Saturday slate of the season. Fairport and Victor, Monroe and Aquinas, a state-ranked eight-man clash. It's fun football between Red Jacket and Pembroke. Just a taste of what's on our schedule tomorrow. We will see you then, but until then, for Thad Brown, I am A.J. Fellman. Stephen Colbert is next. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your evening.